If you think you shouldn't believe everything. Hey you! Somebody the right decision. But keep it to yourself. That's how it was obvious that there would be trouble. Maybe. As long as Hey man, I'm Fisk. I trade goods of all kinds. If you ever need anything, you're in the right place here. Have you got armor for me as well? Well, I'm sure that I can satisfy you. Show me your goods. Hey, you! I trade in swamp weed and potions from the sect camp. Do you want something? What is swamp weed? New here, are you? You can smoke it. Very relaxing for most of us. I want to join the camp. I want to become a shadow. Oh, you're looking for a chance to prove your worth? Good. You can do me a favor. If you do it well, I'll speak up for you in front of Diego. What is it? In the sect camp, there's a man called Kalam. Quite a big shot. One of the gurus of the sect. Kalam is an alchemist. He has the recipe for an effective healing potion. I'd like to buy the recipe off him. Then, I can produce it myself. But nobody can get near Cologne. And what do you expect me to do? The sect loonies are looking for new people all the time. You're new here. Just pretend you want to be recruited. Cologne is one of the gurus. That means he checks the new candidates. If you get in touch with him, try to get the recipe. Whether you want to pay for it or you don't, I don't care. Sounds like a difficult business. How much is in it for me? At some point, Diego will ask me if you're suitable for us. Just guess what my answer will depend on. Maybe I'll have to pay for the recipe. Give me 50 ore as an advance payment. Forget it. Okay, I'll see if I can get the thing. Where is the sect camp? Leave the camp through the south exit, then head eastwards. You'd better take a map. I got one here for 50 ore. The south exit is the collapsed tower, isn't it? Exactly. Show me your goods. I got the best stuff here. The sleeper be with you, stranger. I'm here to guide you onto the right path. And which is the right path? The path of the sleeper. He alone has the power to set us free. The gurus are preparing a great invocation in our camp. They want to get in contact with the sleeper. So far, he's just talked to us in visions. But now, it's time to get in touch with him. We'll need as many supporters as possible for that. By focusing our spiritual power, we'll get through to him. Our camp is some distance away, in the swamp. I can take you there, though, if you want. What would be the benefit of joining you? Maybe you're one of the chosen people who received the gift of magic from the sleeper. Or you might obtain the highest honors and become a Templar. Only the best fighters among us can obtain that position. If the sleeper is with you, you can even combine both. 
the best of the Templars received the gift of magic as well. You see, our Brotherhood has a lot of possibilities for you. You should be aware of that before you decide on joining any other camp. Who's the sleeper? The sleeper speaks to us through dreams and visions. He has been leading us ever since he first made contact with Iberian five years ago. All the followers of the Brotherhood have renounced the three gods. We pray only to the sleeper for salvation. Salvation from what? From this goddamn place, of course. The sleeper will show us the way to freedom. What did the sleeper tell you? He guided us to the swamp, to the old temple ruins. That's where we built our camp. He gave us independence. None of us need to labor in the mines. He showed us what swamp weed can do. We sell it to the other camps, and in exchange, we get everything we need. And he gave some of us the gift of magic, of an old and powerful magic, which is different from the one the magicians of the realm use. Tell me about the magic of the sleeper. This gift enables you to control things with the power of your mind. Only the gurus of our brotherhood have been initiated into the secrets of this magic. Hi, I'm new here. What do you want from me? I want to become one of you. I want to join the camp. Looking for people to support you, eh? If you want me to have a word with Diego about you, you need to do me a favor. What kind of favor do you want? I want one of Fisk's weapons. He's one of the traders at the marketplace. He won't sell it to me. It's a broadsword with ornaments. I'll give you 100 ore to collect the weapon for me, but don't tell him about me. Why won't he sell the weapon to you anymore? We had a little argument. <laughs> and? And that's all you need to know. Did you ever consider that I might just run off with the ore? Don't forget, the colony is small. If you run off with my ore, I'll find you. Okay, give me the hundred ore nuggets. I'll get the thing. Here you go. Come straight back to me. I'd like to buy a sword, but not just a simple one. I'd like something more ornamental. I have one you'll like. The shadow who wanted to collect it won't be coming anymore. That'll be 110 ore. Interested? Yes, I'll take it. I fear you don't have enough ore. I'll hold the sword back for some time, but don't wait too long. Maybe later. Show me your goods. I'd like to buy a sword, but not just a simple one. I'd like something more ornamental. I have one you'll like. The shadow who wanted to collect it won't be coming anymore. That'll be 110 ore. Interested?
Yes, I'll take it. You got a good deal here. I have your sword. Wasn't too hard, was it? Whatever. You do me a favor, and I'll do you one. If Diego should ask after you, I'll speak in your favor. Until then, have a good time. How's it going? Good. You've done me a favor. I'll do you one. I'll tell Diego that you're a reliable man. So, you do know what's good for you. Hey, you! Make yourself scarce. Clever boy. Hi, I'm new here. How's things? Go away. I've been working my ass off in the mine for the last two weeks. And what for? Some sad lumps of ore is all I got. I had to spend most of it on food. I talked to Ball Parvis down there. He told me some interesting things about the sect camp. I think I'd better go there instead of slaving away for Gomez. You don't like it here? Why don't you just go then? Because I'm not quite sure what to expect there. I had a pal here. His name was Melvin. He headed off to the sect camp a week ago. But since then, I haven't heard of them. And as long as I don't get a message from him, I stay here. How about your daily contribution? Your ten ores do, you know? I'm not paying. You've had enough out of me already. You disappoint me. We're not friends anymore. See to it that you don't get mugged and robbed on your own now. 
Don't worry, I can take care of it myself just fine. We'll see. See ya. Take care of yourself, kid. Hi, I'm new here. I'm Graham. I draw maps. I haven't seen you here before. What do you want? Diego sent me. He asked you to give me a map with a route to the old mine. No problem. For you, only 20 ore. Hold on. Diego said you should give me the map, not that you should sell it to me. But I'm not interested. Have you any idea how difficult it is to make a map like this? 20 is my special price for friends of Diego. Usually I take 50. I'll pay for the map. Here, take the ore. Go and get some ore first. Hunt animals or collect mushrooms. You can sell the stuff here in the camp. I'll return. I'd like to buy a map. Sure. What are you thinking of? The more you can see on a map, the more expensive it is. How are you doing? Well, since I stopped working in the mine, I can't really complain. And where do you get your ore from? I help people who have problems. If you get into trouble with influential people here, I can help you sort the thing out. You're very probably right. Could you tell me which of the shadows belongs to the influential people here? You want to impress the right people, do you? Diego has the most power of all the shadows. He trusts Fingers, Whistler, and Sly. Dexter and Fisk sell their stuff on the market square. They have many customers, even the guards. And that makes them rather influential. And then there's Scatty. He's in charge of the arena and determines who fights and all that. Many people here owe him ore. He's important as well. There must be something about that story after all. If I was in trouble, you could help me? How? Well, let's assume you're in trouble with Thoris. You better never get into trouble with him, but then, well, you never know. Thoris can be quite stubborn. When he's pissed off with you once, he'll never talk to you again. And that's a bad thing. As a greenhorn, you depend on him. So you come to see me. I know a lot of people here Thoris listens to. They put in a good word for you, and Thoris is your friend again. Of course, the boys want to see some ore for these kind of favors. Your ore. And I take care that your ore gets to the right people. Hey you! Aren't you the guy who wants to join the camp? What if I am? I could help you. And how? There are two guys sitting around outside the camp. One of them has stolen something from the ore barons. It's a precious amulet, which should have arrived with the last convoy. One of them should still be in possession of the amulet. If we attack them together, we should manage. I couldn't do it on my own. Why do you say? What will happen when we have the amulet? That's an easy one. I'll return it and get the reward. I'll tell them you helped me. Then you'll be in Gomez's good books for sure. No, it's either 50-50 or you can do it on your own. Okay, okay, 50-50. I suppose it'll be enough for the two of us anyway. So, can I count on you? Count me in. All right, just tell me when we can start. What's life like here? Easy going. 
As long as you pay your share of protection money to the guards. What do I have to do if I want to get admitted to this camp? Well, first of all, you have to become a shadow. Therefore, you have to find somebody who supports you, somebody who explains everything to you and takes responsibility for you. If I was you, I'd try to keep close to Diego. I did it like that. He's quite all right. He'll make you take the test of faith. That's different from everybody. Then there'll be some other smaller tasks from other shadows. If you manage them, you'll be with us. And how far have you got with your tests? I've already talked to Dexter and Sly and Fingers. They are some of the most influential shadows here in the camp. What was your test of faith? I can't tell you, man. You have to be silent about things like that here. I'm ready to go with you. Let's get the amulet. Okay, let's do it then. the damn weapon away that was lucky so here we are far away from your friend Diego I'm to send you regards from Bloodvin try that again and you'll regret it you poor jerk you don't even have ore on you I've warned you before, keep your hands off. Try that again and you'll regret it. You don't need that much ore anyway. So, you idiot, just wanted to trap me. Hey, man, we're sitting in the same boat. I am not into digging in the mines either, so I'll do what the guards tell me. Then I'll be accepted soon. That I should whack you, of all people, is your own fault, really. Why did you have to start a bloody fight with the guards? Personally, I don't dislike you. So why do you think? Peace or further fighting? Peace sounds good. I'm glad we see eye to eye on this. Let's forget about it. From now on, I'm on your side. If you ever have trouble again, you can count on me. 
I owe you some, after all. Are you looking for a quiet place where we can talk for a bit or something? Now what? The time's come for you to prove you're a true friend. Just ten or and you're in. What do you say? See ya. Take care of yourself, kid. Diego sent me. He asked you to give me a map with a route to the old mine. No problem. For you, only 20 ore. Hold on, Diego said you should give me the map, not that you should sell it to me. But I'm not interested. Have you any idea how difficult it is to make a map like this? 20 is my special price for friends of Diego. Usually I take 50. I'll pay for the map. Here, take the ore. Okay, you'll never get a map like this that cheap, believe me. Is it possible we're walking in circles? I mean, I don't know where you want to go. There must be something about that story after all. That's really not my problem. You better not stay here. The orc land starts behind that barricade. Is it dangerous? Let me put it like this. You may as well give me all your ore before you go out there and let the orcs rip you to ribbons. I think it might be best if I just turn back. Pity. I'd have loved to take care of your ore.
What are you doing out here? I'm a hunter. Above all, I hunt scavengers. Can you teach me something about hunting? That depends. What do you want to know? Where will I get a bow? Here. I sell the best bows in the old camp. Show me your goods. <laughs> 